Well, hello, beautiful friend. Welcome. I have an absolutely gorgeous rose inspired shawl pattern to show you today. And I'm going to be showing you how to dry block your shawls, which is a must have technique if you want your items to look their absolute best. This gorgeous rose inspired pattern is called Darcy and it was designed for you by the fabulous Jane Vincilis. Darcy is both a variety of rose and a subtle little hint to Mr. Darcy of Pride and Prejudice. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, I love, I love you. And Jane and I both love anything Jane Austen, so I'm totally smitten with this pattern. This beautiful pattern has a lovely little lace texture here in the center. And then along the edges, you're gonna see a gorgeous rose inspired motif. And it reminds me of a gorgeous rose bush growing on a trellis. Every time I put it on, I feel like I am in a Jane Austen novel. It is so fabulous and it makes me feel like I could go to a fancy tea party dining or maybe um, um, a ball. Why don't we have balls anymore? I can't do it, it's too much. Cut that part out. You can download this pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and check out the description box for the direct link. We made this in our alpaca silk DK yarn, which has a beautiful drape. It just puddles really well. It holds its shape really nicely upon blocking and it has some silk in there, so it has the weediest bit of glow. This pattern is so enjoyable because it's an easy repeating lace pattern and you only need to know how to work a few basic stitches. I'm gonna show you a few of those stitches today in case you need to reference back to this video for a reminder of those stitches while you're knitting this pattern. So you're gonna need to know how to work a knit two together, which is just inserting your needle under the next two stitches and knitting those together. You're also going to need to know how to work knit three together through the back loop. To do that, just insert your right needle under the next three stitches in the back and then knit those three together and slide them off. To work a make one left, you're going to insert your left needle into this bar between your stitches from front to back and then you're going to knit into the back of that and that is going to be a left leaning increase to work a make one right you're going to insert your left needle under the bar between your stitches from back to front and then you're going to knit into the front of that which is going to create a right leaning increase if you are new to lace knitting, be sure to check out our video that we did on how to use a lifeline when you're knitting because it will literally change your knitting life. Now, I would love to show you the amazing technique of blocking. Blocking helps to even out your stitches, alter the shape of your piece, it opens up all the little lacy parts, and in general, it just makes your item look a whole lot more professional. And for this pattern in particular, blocking changed the shape of the pattern from having straight lines to being more of a wearable crescent shape. Now, there are many different blocking methods. One option you might wanna try is called wet or immersion blocking, and this is where you fully submerge your item in water, and you're gonna press out the excess moisture with a towel, pin it into shape and then allow it to air dry. And we do have a video on that technique if you would like to check that out. Another method is pinning your item out while it's dry. And some folks call this dry blocking. Then you can either mist it with water and allow it to air dry, or you can steam it with an iron or a steamer. It's also great for beginners because you can get the exact shape that you like while the yarn is dry and a little bit more easily manageable than while it's wet. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the misting method. To show you this technique, I'm gonna be using blocking mats and pins. Now, these are not required. You can get as creative as you would like. You can use sewing pins. You can use an old rug. Just anything that you can stick a pin in will be fine. I'm also going to be using blocking wires today, which again, this is not something that you must have, but if you do find yourself blocking a lot of items and you want that supremely smooth and beautiful edge, this might be something you wanna consider. You're gonna wanna use natural fibers with this technique, like wool, alpaca, silk, cotton or linen because they're really going to hold their shape well upon blocking. It does not work as well for synthetic fibers because they're going to basically shrink back to their original shape pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Lay out your piece in the general shape that you want. If your blocking mats have a grid, that will be super helpful to get the exact dimensions that you want. I'm gonna start by inserting the blocking wires along the inside edge of the shawl, which is where I would like a nice smooth edge. Wires come in different thicknesses, and these thinner ones are really great for curved edges like this. Next, I'm going to pin it out. These longer blocking pins are great for straighter edges, while single pins like T-pins or sewing pins are great for points. Continue shaping your piece until you love the look of it. You may need to rearrange the pins, shift things around as you go, but just continue along until you get it just right. Next. I'm going to mist the shawl with some water until it's damp. Once finished, you'll just allow your shawl to dry, which usually takes overnight. You can put a fan on it if you want to speed the process up. And if you do want to steam block instead of mist, you can. That's a great technique if you're in a rush. Just steam with an iron or a steamer, being careful not to touch the item at all so as to not damage the fibers. Once it's dry, you're gonna remove the wires and pins and your gorgeous item is ready to wear or give as a gift. I hope this technique helps to take your knitting to a whole new level. Do let us know if you have any questions and we're gonna put the links to all the materials used in the description box for you in case you wanna check those out. Have a most delightful and inspired day and remember to be your beautiful blooming self for all the world to see because we all need you. I will see you next time. Bye for now. This gorgeous design is in, this gorgeous, wait, what? Every time I put it on, I feel like I am in a Jane Austen novel. It makes me feel like a good, <clears throat> sorry. And that I'm ready to go to a fancy tea or a wonderful ball. Fancy tea party, darling, or maybe, um, um, a ball. It makes me feel like I could go to a fancy tea party, darling, or perhaps a beautiful ball. <laughs> Why don't we have balls anymore? Can't I can't do it. It's too much. Cut that part out. It doesn't. <laughs> Blocking helps to. It also took the. Um, okay. Now another option is. Um, and remember to be your beautiful, blooming self. I forgot. I will see you next time. Bye for now.